The U.S. Army Special Forces were created in 1952, but it wasn't until 1961 that President Kennedy okayed the colorful cap that gave them their name, the Green Berets. National Security Correspondent David Martin takes a look now at the legendary unit which is celebrating a very special anniversary. Before President Kennedy showered them with his glamour, special forces were the black sheep of the American military. Even today, to a certain extent, after 10 years of uh, conflict, there is a perception, I think, that we are outsiders. Prima donnas? More as outlaws. Outlaws because you're, you're scruffy? Uh... Yeah, the beards uh, in Afghanistan, the non-standard uniforms and uh, sometimes our unconventional methods of getting things done. But, says oh, Colonel Mark so Mitchell, they were black sheep no more after JFK went to Fort Bragg and awarded them their distinctive Green Berets. But once the president says, these are my guys. It makes a big difference having that, having that, the support from the commander in chief. I doubt uh, President Kennedy could have imagined uh, the use to which special forces were put in Afghanistan riding on horseback, uh, calling in airstrikes, probably would not have uh, been, it, it would have been tough for him to envision. As one of the first Green Berets into Afghanistan after 9-11, Mitchell rode with local Afghan fighters calling in airstrikes on Taliban positions. They almost made it look too easy. I think that we were all surprised, especially, I mean, by December, we were installing a new Afghan government and uh, may have created a false sense of security. I don't want to second guess our, our national leadership, but I think it, it did, did appear almost too easy at some point. We all know now it wasn't easy, either in Afghanistan or Iraq, where special forces were also first in, hunting for Scud missiles in the western desert, and will almost certainly be last out. Today there are 14,000 Green Berets, that's 30% more than on 9-11. When you add in the Army Rangers, the Navy SEALs, the Delta Force, there are some 60,000 special operations forces in all. That is the equivalent of four or five divisions of unconventional soldiers. Wow, with, with all the budget tightening that we're seeing in Washington and of course specifically at the Pentagon, is the Pentagon in some ways relying more on these uh, special ops forces? Well, special operations forces can pull off spectacular raids like the bin Laden raid, but they cannot win wars single-handedly. Colonel Mitchell will tell you the special forces couldn't have overthrown the Taliban without 15,000 Afghan troops fighting along with them. And at the end of the day, you still need troops to seize and hold enemy territory. David Martin at the Pentagon this morning. David, thanks.